Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So let's carry on, and design next a set of purlins. Process which as you may assume, is quite similar to the several steps we just performed for obtaining this other set of beams. Here we have this connection now properly configured. Therefore we may continue, and copy this connection across the purlin, and over the remaining sections of the structure. Here we have all the connections of this purlin now placed. Hence we may carry on, and copy both of these across the length of the top cords. Nevertheless, and before we choose such tool, let's first select the corresponding group of objects. Let's proceed as follows. Here we have the first group of purlins that we need. And which worth noting, feature also all their corresponding connections. And with this, we have completed the design and placement of purlins in our structure. Therefore we may further develop this model, and add next a set of bracing systems.